Hey everybody, welcome back. Spider-Man Ross here in the Spider Cave. As promised, after our review of the J. Scott Campbell four pieces they've released in the series so far, I did in fact, and I've made room for it next to uh, Mary Jane there, I did in fact pick up and bring home the J. Scott Campbell Black Cat. This Black Cat again is the fifth release in this series after the two Spider-Men and Mary Jane and Gwen Stacy. She sits about nine inches tall. The base is about six inches wide. This one is numbered out of 3,500, and this is number 539 out of 3,500. As you would expect, high graphic box and highly detailed sideshow quality you've come to expect, again, Beautiful, sexy pose, very representative of the black cat. Uh, the black eye mask, the flowing wavy white hair, the sultry looking skin tight black outfit with the white furry accents, all representative of the black cat, all done very well. Pink and sparkly base isn't my favorite, I'll be honest with you, but it does make sense to a certain degree with the black cat. Again, I'm not sure why they made this two pieces, but they did. They've added this extra little sparkly bit as a second piece. But I get it. It is the black cat. You know, she's supposed to be sexy and sparkly and a jewel thief. So it does make sense to a certain degree. But one of my favorite, I think my favorite part of this piece is this little detail right here. We got a black cat and we've got the Spider-Man head ball of yarn. That is fantastic. And of course, what would be Spider-Man without the black cat having her claws into him at all times? So very representative of that. Of course, the black cat has been in and out of Spider-Man's life for a long time. And as we all know, her first appearance, of course, goes back to Amazing Spider-Man number 194. Never let the black cat cross your path because she never leaves. And she's never left Peter... Uh, Spider-Man alone since. So there it is, the J. Scott Campbell Black Cat. Again, another beautiful sideshow piece. And I was thinking about it today. What I'll probably do is pull down some of the other Black Cats and maybe do a review of how they've changed over the years and sort of a representation of some of the different statues that she has had. So thanks again for watching, guys. Um, any comments, let me know. It's always great to hear from you guys, and we will uh, talk to you again next week.